Good afternoon, beloved. What a beautiful day it is to come to you from this glorious, vast state of Alaska. We are here in between meetings, and I am coming to you surrounded by beautiful mountains and uh, waters um, and um, a geography that is truly stunning. This beautiful state of Alaska, to which I was born in, uh, is so large that you can fit 19 U.S. states within it, and it would fit easily. Also, I want you to realize that in 1867, uh, Russia sold this beautiful uh, state that we have and are in currently for $7.2 million. It was just two decades later that uh, the uh, indigenous uh, people groups, five major indigenous people groups in this state, became radically saved because there was missionaries that risked their lives, three major missionaries, one from Canada, one from Russia, and one from the U.S. that came to this beautiful state and began to share the beautiful gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. One word called forgiveness began to set a flame within those five indigenous people groups because they had never and nor did they have a word that would describe forgiveness. It was that one word, forgiveness, that was explained to them that, again, began to set off a fire that radiated so powerfully that within two decades, all of the five indigenous uh, people groups became born-again Christians. May that be a lesson for you and for me that when we release the power of forgiveness from God to us through the Lord Jesus Christ and to one another, it can set off a flame and a fire of evangelism that the devil himself cannot stop. It was here in this beautiful state of Alaska that a mighty gold rush took place 20, 30 years after its inception. Hundreds of thousands of men and women came to endeavor to become rich overnight through the discovery of gold. Your Bible declares that there is something more precious than gold and silver, and that is the precious blood of Jesus Christ. You are a born-again Christian. That precious blood of Jesus Christ has washed you and has cleansed you, and you now are a born-again Christian. I hope to share with you again sometime soon here in this beautiful state so that the bugs here don't eat me, <laughs> eat me alive. We're coming to you surrounded by the beautiful mountains and uh, glaciers that I will hope to show you shortly and uh, to show you again some of the wonderful things God is doing here and around your world in the precious blood and name of Jesus Christ. I will see you again soon. God bless you.